this is actually a very great project that we're having here all together with uh, the Berlin Radio Symphony Orchestra and uh, Pentaton, Vasily Sinaiski and Dennis on the piano. We're here in um, the Funkhaus Nalipa-Straße. It has been the home of the Berlin Radio Symphony Orchestra for over 30 years. Best acoustic in Berlin, uh, especially with classical recordings. So this is why we're here. We're recording. We want to have the greatest sound. And with our partner Pentaton, I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll have that on the disc. I'm very excited because I think Dennis is one of the greatest uh, young pianists in the world. The first time I heard him play in, uh, in concert myself um, was in London when he played with the Philharmonia Orchestra. And there he played the Tchaikovsky concert. It was a fantastic success. The audience didn't stop applauding for, for 30 minutes almost. So we, we said the first concerto we, we we're going to record is Tchaikovsky. Then we, of course, had to find another piece uh, that goes very well with it, and we both seem to love the Greek concerto as well, so that's why we decided to do Tchaikovsky and Greek. I think the fact that we still keep recording them again and again means that music is still alive, it will be always alive, and there are still things to discover, and it's uh, always something new, and each pianist, I'm sure, finds something uh, something uh, which maybe other people didn't see in the score and that's what music is about. So I can tell you that Denise for me is a really very interesting and serious person in interpretations. One of his positive things is that he is inside the orchestra. He not just a soloist and the orchestra plays something somewhere. You see, he is with you, he is inside of music and uh, we have very good collaboration. With uh, Vasily Sinaiski as um, the conductor who, of course, with Russian music is really um, in his abilities. I mean, he's just the best for doing something like this. And um, working with Dennis has been um, absolutely wonderful. This orchestra, I know very well, many, many years we did many things in the Philharmonic Hall and they are very, very flexible. So it looks as that our three days, which is normal speed for recording two big concertos, uh, looks that we will finish it much, much earlier, you see. So as a conductor I can tell that I feel not only happy, but uh, very enthusiastically, uh, because you see, when you understand that musicians have any interest, you must give them something new. In both concertos I feel that it's not like in some concertos where, uh, well, the word concerto means literally that is a competition between the soloist and the orchestra. In this case I think it's two pieces, they are like big symphonic poems. And what I think they have in common is that they are both very connected to the, to the land uh, where, from where the composers were, in case of Greek Norway and in case of Tchaikovsky Russia. Both of the composers, they were absolutely fascinated with uh, their own culture, with their folkloric uh, things. And they traveled and they heard the dances and they, they heard melodies and then they sometimes use them in their pieces. The theme of the third movement of Tchaikovsky you can share to this one. This is a, an Ukrainian song, actually, and you see Tchaikovsky adapted it and made a, a whole movement out of this. And in case of Greek, this is... This is a, uh, this is a Norwegian dance also that he also used and made a movement out of it. If you listen to this first recording we're making, the Tchaikovsky and the Greek piano concertos, you will understand why he's so successful, because he's really amazing, I think. The musical understanding is there, and we have a real flow in the recording, and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun.